the fourth of five chase races here from Cheltenham today. No hurdles today. It's another novice. This is the two mile one. And the top one is the Ninja for Joshua Sutherland has also got a special connection, both of whom have won already this season. Brush strokes for Paul Rhodes. Catch me for Ryan Costello. I like him. Matt Ranch for Derek Hinton. Lamego for Darren Thompson. Richmond Gap for Jim Murray. Alice in Wonderland, Ryan Tamasevi. Bees for Lunder for James Shea. Close to the heart, Leon Van Rensburg. Enemy of State, Paul Rhodes. Making memories for Craig Allen. Singita Chrissy for David Robertson and Zarex for Craig Beckwith. So 14 of the men in this speed test for the novice chasers. Called in and away they go. And the grey at the back, Lamego, just thinking about it for a while before he set off. And I like him, Matt Ranch is also towards the back. But at the front end of the field then, it's Zarex who's going to lead us into the first of the 13. But out jumped on the outside by brush strokes, trying to give Paul Rhodes a quick fire double. But an interesting day for Paul Rhodes already today with a couple of fallers in one race and then dead heating with John Morgan in the last and the most exciting finish I think I've seen so far this season it's brush strokes in the lead then there from Zarex as they get over that one Lamego all that keen to race to start with he's now up there in the leading pack and those three will take this fence which will be the last on the next circuit and the Craig Beckwith Zarex was right down on its nose and didn't appear to uh, want to jump it all that much but they're swinging left-handed now looks to be going okay on the flat got a bit of time as they swing left-handed before the next fence to get himself back settled and Lamego the grey on the outside is the leader catch me is really struggling to catch the rest of them at the moment he's already tailing off but it's Lamego in front from Zarex on the inside and brush strokes between the two then comes the ninja as they take that one a mistake that time by the enemy of state I think it was that's Paul Road's second runner didn't jump it at all well and Beast for Lunder is the final one in shot as they take the water. Catch me. He's probably got more chance in the next race than this one. But it's Lamego in front then by a length to Brushstrokes in second and Zarex in third. Gap of probably two and a half to three then to making memories in the ninja as they take that ditch, which they're all safely over. The Leon Van Rinsburg, of course, close to the heart, which I think has already fallen once this season. Took that really slowly. And Zarex again was a bit slow and has now dropped back in third place but Lamego is happy in front leading by a length to brush strokes tucked in behind in second a gap of a couple into Zarex as they take this ditch which they're all over and there goes catch me probably get a little bit closer to be fair to him and Lamego is continuing to lead them by about a nick to half a length as they take number nine and a good jump again by the leader the one that didn't jump it all that well this time was Singita Chrissy and that one's now shuffled down towards the back of the field as well but it's Lamego in front then Brushstrokes in second and Zarex in third Alice in Wonderland is creeping up on the outside in fourth the two Joshua Sutherland horses are running together as they take number 10 and suddenly we find ourselves we've only got three more fences to take and it's Lamego in front then by a couple two Brushstrokes Zarex Alice in Wonderland the one that's now coming nicely around the outside is enemy of state who made a really bad mistake earlier on but seems to have recovered well from it they take the third from home mistake by I like him Matt Ranch at the back but that one's surely out of it anyway making memories has now come through to take it up making memories is in the lead he's being chased by Grays on either side there uh, making memories now being pressed by close to the heart Lamego's trying to stick on in there as they swing towards home and the final two fences close to the heart hit the front Richmond Gap has come through in a second then making memories Lamego is still there enemy state the special connection in the ninja the two Joshua Southern horses haven't played their cards yet as they get over the second last it's close to the heart in the lead making memories Memories is trying to close the Magos trying to fight back. Richmond Gap is third over the final fence. They go slightly better jump on the middle of the trap by making memories and making memories is starting to burst the clear now. It's making memories by two, three lengths and making memories is powering up the Cheltenham Hill and racing towards the line and taking a claim for a to be the head of the anti post betting for the Arthur as making memories takes it then. Making memories is the winner of the special connection second. I see Wonderland third and a ninja and close to the heart and the enemy estate and brush strokes dropped away. I think Catch Me finally got round. They all stayed on their feet and making memories an impressive turn of foot after jumping the final fence, powering up that hill. We'll be in a few notebooks for the Cheltenham Festival, but there's a long way to go before then. So Making Memories takes it for Craig Allen. The special connection for Joshua Sutherland was second. Alice in Wonderland for Ryan Tamasebi third. The Ninja for Joshua Sutherland fourth. And Richmond Gap for Jim Murray was fifth.